Good day folks and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joanne and today we're going to talk about a very important topic. So it's finally here, what everybody was waiting for, a truly Cisco batch for our certifications for Cisco Meraki devices. So if you are a Cisco Meraki geeky, this is your time man. This is the certification that you have to take and I'm glad that we can talk about it now. For the ones that are subscribed to the channel that know me for a little while, you know that I have uploaded dozens of videos just about Cisco Meraki, how to implement it, how to configure it, how to troubleshoot it, even how to automate with the API keys. And for the ones who have seen me the first time now, go back to the playlist so you can see the Cisco Meraki training all the way from one to here. And everyone knows that I'm very keen into Cisco Meraki devices. So for me, this is a very good news. It means that now we can have in the piece of paper with a batch in our shoulder that we know about how to configure, how to implement, how to automate Cisco Meraki devices. So the first time that comes to my mind is that let's go to the Cisco Meraki webpage and trying to find anything related to the Cisco Meraki certification. And then what can we expect inside? So what are the contents? What are the tables? What are the exercises that are gonna be there? But I stopped there, so I wanna share with you and go with you for the first time. So let's go to the Cisco Meraki webpage and everything that we can find on the internet about it and let's go through and dissect it and see what kind of content we have. So let's go. All right, so we are here in the main page for Cisco Meraki. So let's try to find some information about the certifications. The first place that I would go would be the blog because they put some news and they put some in information here. So let me scroll down. Okay, great, so we can see it here. They announced the Cisco Meraki Solution Specialist Certification. It looks like that's, that's gonna be the name. It's a pretty long name. It's Cisco Meraki Solution Specialist Certification. If we scroll down here, let's see. Okay, so here we can see what is the number of the exam and the number of the course. Here we can have two different modules that we can go. This one is a one day introduction to Meraki fundamentals. And the other one is a three day deep dive into the advanced Meraki technologies, which is awesome. It means that they have two different modules for us to play around. So these are the advantages that they're saying that it's gonna be helpful if you have these kinds of certifications. Cisco Meraki Solution Specialist certification. It's gonna prove your status as a Meraki expert. That's what we're trying to do gonna help the organization realize the full value of the Meraki investment. That's great. It's gonna pop up your resume, which is good as well. Boost my confidence because I'm gonna feel better after I have this certification. And you're gonna have your badge, which is a great thing to do. So to take a look at this, let's see if we can find something additional for this. Let's see if in the Meraki Learning Hub, they have some information about the content. So here we have we have ECMS1 and ECMS2. So if you get here and let's see, learn more, it's gonna give you a little bit more information and even how to enroll it. So you can see the upcoming sessions here. So going back, I'm assuming that ECMS2 is gonna have the same information for the other module. Yes, and it's gonna give you how to enroll it. So this is not available yet. It looks like it's gonna be available for the second half of the calendar year of 2020. And the Meraki certification. So we're looking for the table of content. So we know what we expect. Good. So here we have the self story resources and that's the one that I'm intrigued. So let's open this exam self study guide to see what's gonna be included. Oh, that comes for the Cisco Meraki community. If you're not part of the community, go there. You can, you can sign with no problem. And it's gonna be very useful for you as well. Here we have the exam topics, awesome. Here we have 50% with the Cisco Meraki Cloud Management. That's good because you have to understand how is the cloud architecture and then how Meraki function and works properly. And the 30% is gonna be design, awesome, because it's some kind of different world with Meraki in the design perspective, since they have a different platform in the dashboard, plus all the different devices. So you have the Maxes, the switches, the access points, the camera and MI as well. So it makes sense to have a, a large chunk of the exam just for the design 
So you have to understand how to design, how to implement with Mirai. And that's why I can see that 25% is the implementation to understand how to put all these devices together. And 30%, which is a large chunk as well, is monitoring and troubleshooting. And this is, I think this one is going to be uh, very interesting to see because now that since you have the dashboard and everything has to be through the dashboard for the troubleshooting and the monitoring, I think it's going to be great. Let's go down a little bit. Cisco Mirai Cloud Management. Here is going to give you all the study materials. I'm assuming that each link of this is going to be the documentation portal, which is something that we use every time that we make a video. Yes, exactly. So you, it looks like you're not going to have a complete book to go through it. So far, it looks like you just have the documentation links, which is great as well. And some videos as well. You see Cisco Meraki Dashboard API, you have some videos. That's awesome. And this is the first part, the Meraki Cloud Management. So you have to understand how the organization is structured, what is organization, what is network, the administrator privileges, which is going to be fine as well, understanding the licensing. But before it was called termination, now we're moving to per device license, how to renewal. So that's, that's very good, very good. That's the first part. So in the second one, it's talking just about design. And you can see that it's a more thorough uh, exam topics. It's more detailed in the things that they want us to learn. And the same thing is so the materials, everything is going through the KBs from the official. So this is, we, we have a lot of KBs here to go through. I even videos as well. So for people that are not very used to just learn by reading KBs, we have some videos and some examples. And this is very important because that's one of the things is the most important part when you're dealing with Meraki is understanding how it's designed, how to design the networks based on your needs. And the other part here is implementations. Okay, implementations have more detail as well, which is good. And the study material. So we can see the, we can see the trend, right? We, it looks like we're not going to have like a specific book because it's the documentation part that we have over there is, is very rich already. So at least we have a structured way how to study uh, for this Cisco Meraki exam. And this in implementation, you can see that it goes from the MX for general practices. It's going to talk, of course, about our VPN, the proprietary um, technology that they have to build the VPN tunnels in between devices. SD1, because it's very good as well, the QS, and not just the MX. It's going to be the switches as well, how to create the SBIs for the three switches, the QS for that and the security with the access policies. The MR, the same thing, the traffic shaping. Good part about the air marshal because sometimes it's very, a little bit confusing. And it's not just the hardware. We're gonna have the software for them as well, the system manager for the end devices, which is, is gonna be good to know a little bit about it. MV is there, and I. I can see that it's not, I don't see any information about MT, but it makes sense because they launched it pretty recently. So I wouldn't be very, very, and not seeing here. So I can see that it's good. So the other part is the monitoring troubleshooting. So what we can do with Meraki monitoring troubleshooting? A lot. And I, I'm very glad to see this last section here. We can see the alerts. You know that we have email alerts, but you have the SMMP integration, the syslog server integration as well, and NetFlow. So that, that'll be very good to go in the step by step how to do it, the firmware upgrades, and then how to troubleshoot it. And then divide it between the layer, right? Layer two, Technologies using dashboard and layer three, the wireless connectivity with the access points as well, and the security center. I can see that, yes, it's, it's a very thorough documentation that we have for each aspect. And that's good that we don't have just documentation just for text. So we have videos as well from time to time, which I'm very good to see. Awesome. So coming back with the certification here, they say that you can use this or you can go here. Let's see what we have here. Oh, it's just coming from the Cisco main portal for the exams. Or you have the two parts here. And if you want to start, you can download the blueprint, which is great. I think that this is the same materials that we saw in the previous one. Oh, this is just like a PDF with the same information. And this is from the Meraki community as well. Something that I'd like to see when we saw in the other page is this, the lab. So what are they recommending for us to study? And what are the devices that we must have to pass this certification? 
Here we see the bill of materials. So we have MX67, which is one of the latest MXs or small MXs that they have. Uh, we have seen that in the videos previously. Good. Z3 or C3. This is our teleworker gateway, which is going to be good. Then if we have to make some labs with auto VPN connections from like a headquarters to a branch network. The MS250, one of their switches, that would be good then to understand what is the QS, the access policy and the layer 3 SVIs configuration. MR33, one of their mid-range MRs and the MV12WE. So, but they recommend any alternative models. So if you have one of the other models, this is gonna be fine. And uh, you can see there are a lot of different models that I have already that you can purchase or they can use for the certification. The good thing about Merak is that most of the modules in each category of technology or platform that they have, they can do virtually almost the same thing. So you don't need specifically one module as long as this module is up to date with the firmware and you can see all the options in the dashboard. That's, that's how great it is. Now the percent uh, recommended topology is just like a regular topology. It's close to the one that you can see in my board at the back of the videos, just with a little more devices on my side. But here is a very simple one. It's just the camera, the access point connected to the switch, the switch connected to the MX and connected to the internet. I can see that the set three that you put in the other side and this is most likely because they want to create VPN tunnels and have configuration in between. This is how it should look like. That's, that's great. So even in the installation guides, you can have it here. So they have a pretty good documentation already about what they want you to study and what they want you to go through. So that would be very good, very good. So we just have to sit down and then start taking a look to all this content and going through it. So that for me, that's the first impression for this exam is that it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. Let's see what happens in our community taking the first exams for, for this certification and let's see the feedback. So I recommend you to go through this specific uh, blog post and you can see all the recommendations here with all the hyperlinks to go through. Let's check it out. So when I heard the news, I just thought what a great opportunity then to learn more about Cisco Meraki devices in the more structured way. Because now we have this kind of certification that can lead the way about the different aspects that are the most important parts and the ones that we have to tackle first. So I just want to hear from you from the community. What do you think then if I can start doing some kind of training or guidelines based of this content that is going to help you to go from the beginning if you don't know anything about Meraki and go through all the different aspects so at the end of the training of the series of videos you are very confident that you were able to pass that certification and have have that badge on your shoulder. So I just want another for you. If you have any comments or any observations, just put it in the comments below of this video so we can start a conversation in the community to see what we can do to address this, this situation. So let me know. I'm going to be open ears. I'm going to continue digging into these kind of certifications to see what I can find because I'm very happy about it. So let me know during the comments and let's see and start a conversation about it. What do you think that we can do then to address this kind of challenge that we have right now for the Cisco Miracle certification? See you in the next one.